the World Championships, the biggest tournament in the planet. Lucas Lepre is about as perfect as Jiu Jitsu gets on the mat. Jiu Jitsu you know, taught me to, to solve my problem. When you're in a bad position in Jiu Jitsu, you have to know how to get out. If you don't escape, the guy's gonna submit you. This match is just fire. How do you stop this guy? No one's been able to score a point on him. He's a lion, no? Hungry. He, he have a big light inside his, his heart. So nobody here can beat him. All right, let's go. Let's switch now. Usually it's like the same side that, you know, for example, if I have my right leg forward, he's gonna have his right leg forward as well. Okay, and then he's gonna go to the double. Boom, I'm gonna block one, two, and sprawl. Look how I'm gonna use my arm over here to block the shoulder. The other arm under the armpit. Boom, I'm blocking him. Go one, two, turn, and get the back. No, let's try, let's go. We are like in Charlotte, North Carolina, at uh, Alliance Charlotte, Lucas Lepre headquarters, and uh, I'm teaching the fundamentals class. Quatro, cinco, seis, sete, bom pole, oito. We work like uh, I start with some drilling that they can like warm up and work their recompose in the guard. His bottom leg comes in and recompose the guard. I really didn't know about him that much when I first started. And I got a couple other friends in other states that trained, and when they found out I was training with Lucas, they're like, man, you don't know how lucky you are. And Lucas is a great teacher. I like that he spends time one-on-one -on -one teaching you and stuff. Actually, we all talk about it sometimes. You know, it's, even, it's cool that he even knows our name, you know, and stuff like that. Very nice, guys. Have a great weekend. See you guys on Monday. Let's go, skip. Go. Left. Three. Three left. I can't wait for the words. I know it's gonna be super tough as always, you know. So the training like, you know, the last few weeks I have in, in, intensified my training a little bit more. Left. High. So KP is like, you know, he makes all the programs and uh, as I have been working out with him like for eight years, he know all my, my body, like, you know, what I like to do it and yeah, he goes and we study a lot, like, you know, the positions that I put myself. Chest up. Chest up. Stagger stance. Stagger stance. I mean, he's, he's very gifted, you know, but I, I think that people often confuse the talent with also the discipline. You know, he has that as well. Um, he does everything he needs to do. It's not, you know, coaching is an art and a lot of that has to do with finding a way to get what you want out of the athlete and sometimes without them realizing what you're trying to get out of them. Go! So looking at the clock, two more. My ideal plan would be to taper, have them rest for 72 hours before competition, not have to weight cut, and um, go in fresh, healthy, and without any injuries. I'll settle for the 72 hours of rest. You know, guys, thank you. More championships coming up. They're okay, gonna do it. Just believe it. Us. Us. Thanks, KP. Thanks, Us. Thank you for your trust. Thank you, guys.
World Championship. Day one for the Black Belt Division. Yeah, so this year is like my 10th uh, World Championship as a Black Belt. You know, every year is a, is a challenge. So let's, let's see. In white, representing Alliance, Lucas Laprie. My mindset was up and down. I wasn't feeling very good because of my diet, because I didn't eat all the whole day. I won my first match by one advantage. I could, I, I felt my opponent was stronger, was stronger than me. Always a tough match. You know? It's the words everybody prepared the whole year for for this for this moment, and that's gonna be a war. Nobody knows. Now it's gonna. Everybody's gonna know. 2016 was a little bit interesting because almost completed the words. I got a little bit uh, dismotivated. It was super weird. I, it was the first time that I felt this in my life. And uh, it wasn't because like I won the World Championship already, but it's something, you know, I don't know, just disappeared. Boom. And then it was like pretty tough moments because, man, when you lose that motivation, you know, it's really hard to find the motivation again. You know, I was like 31 years old. I said, man, I think I can go further. You know, if Cobrinha, man, I can do it. You know, I said, man, I think I can do it too. But like a, a, a machine, a computer, you have to, to program sometimes, you know, sometimes you're gonna delete something and then have to reprogram again. My, my mindset was very ready for that moment and uh, I knew it was like uh, I couldn't mistake because I had been looking for the submission all the time. As I said, I, I programmed myself you know, to, to do very well. You know, I got my motivation back, yeah, and everything went, worked out. So today is quarterfinals, semifinals and finals. And uh, my next match is going to be with Jacob from Jeff Team. He's a pretty tough, tough guy. And that's uh, going to be exciting. I feel he's old warrior, but he keep hungry inside him. He, he have a big light inside his, his heart. Nobody here can beat him. How does it feel to, to keep uh, getting fed these, these young, hungry guys and be able to stave them off? Yeah, it's not easy. You know, I'm gonna turn 33 this year. So as I said, like I have been fighting the black belt since 2007, you know, 10 years already. So ever, you know, every year come up new guys, you know, very hungry, and uh, I have to prepare for that.
Yeah, I felt, you know, I felt like today is going to be my day. You know, today is going to be my day. I mentalized for it, you know, so uh, now I just put the work there. All these months that I have been putting on the work for this moment. So I'm going to do my best. Lucas LaPree. In wide, representing Hibero Jiu Jitsu, Leon Paiva. Fresh young black belt making his way all the way to the semifinals so far, overcoming Edwin Najmi in the quarterfinals. Can you do the same to Lucas Lepre? It's yet to be seen. You cannot rush. You have to let you know the mat flow the way it is without rushing too much because you, you, you can lose the timing of the positions and then you sometimes you're in good position and then you rush too much and then you end up on a bad position so that's you know I think the experience helps a lot. And that's going to be the match. So we're going to see Lucas Lepre move on to the men's finals. It was amazing, you know. Like I said before, for me, his, his game is complete. You know, his flow is tight, you know. He's light, but he's heavy. You know, he's a true champion, man. Big heart, you know. The mind is, was good. He's going to be a champion for sure. We, we pass right now hard times because the Atos is have a lot of points, but we're going to keep going. I, I believe we can pass and win these worlds. The team is, it was amazing, you know. The team is, is, is like a family. Everybody training together, eat together, and sleep together. I think that, that we keep the positive vibration, you know, positive mind. I really, I work really hard for this, and uh, it's my fifth uh, title, and I don't know what's next. I mean, I know what's next. It's like DCC. I want to not prepare for DCC, no gi, and uh, let's see for next year. Depois que ele perdeu no pai, eu falei, ele entrou na caverna, velho. Que nem o samurai. Porque eu sabia que ele ia ganhar. Ele ia voltar mais forte, porra. Eu sempre subo, porra. Para mim, é um grande prazer, você sabe, ser um treinador, coach, um alliance coach. E para mim, é um preço, você sabe, estar com o Bruno Malfacini, você sabe, o Lucas Lepre. Cobrinha, Michael Lang, you know, and uh, this is, I think, these guys inspire me, you know. I always, you know, feel adrenaline, feel, you know, anxious, this is normal. You know, I think that is like the exciting part, because if I lose that, it's because something is wrong, you know, so I think that, you know, that adrenaline drives me to win. Vamos entrar agora sangue no olho, vamos fazer esse cara sentir quem tu é, entendeu, Lucão? Ele já sabe, ele vai entrar cagado, ele já sabe, entendeu? Entendeu?
Satoshi may have hurt his wrist there. Yeah, I think you're right, Sean. I think it's, I think it's the shoulder. Like they're, they're going to take him out, try to work on his shoulder, see if they can either put something back in or what. Satoshi not going to be able to continue. He's very, very upset, rightfully so. Satoshi, as tough as they come, so, I mean... He would continue if it was something minor, and this yeah. is obviously too much pain, too much of an injury for him to continue. Lucas Lepre would be your world champion. And yeah, this happened, you know, this is part of the sport, and, uh, but I'm super happy. You know, like hard work pays off, and uh, I'm super excited. He's a lion, you know? His pressure is amazing. He, he, he is, his jiu-jitsu is flow, but pressure. Good, good head, good heart. I think he's the, the, the true champion. You know? I dedicate this to my students. They are every day with me, training, help me, you know, supporting me. And they are amazing. Jiu-jitsu you know, taught me to, to solve my, my problems. When you're on the bad position in Jiu-Jitsu, you have to, to know how, how to get out. I'm so blessed to be here today doing what I love. Everybody has a dream you know, to, be, to become a black belt world champion one day. You know, as I get that, ah, I want to win. Everybody wants to win, you know. The mindset helps me a lot. I have, you know, a lot of plans and uh, we're just on the, on the, on the beginning. We, we just started.